the material we dove into for today suggests something um, pretty bold, a new framework. Very bold. It centers on black holes, but not as we usually think of them, not just passive objects. Okay, so what's the twist? They're active. Active agents, yeah. Yeah. The core idea is that they are literally dynamically consuming the fabric of space-time itself. Wow. Okay, consuming space-time. And this single process, this space-time infall and annihilation, they call it. That's the term, yeah. It's meant to explain all three. Inflation, dark energy, and dark matter. That's the ambitious proposal. One underlying mechanism tying it all together. Right. So let's unpack that. Space-time. Usually get the trampoline analogy, you know? Mass warping it. That analogy only goes so far, though. It makes space-time seem passive, static. This framework says it's a dynamic medium. So black holes aren't just dense. Not just dense. Think more like um, active drains, sinks, mm -hmm. vortices constantly pulling in the very substance of space-time. Okay, drains in the cosmic ocean. So what happens at the bottom of the drain? The singularity. Physics usually just stops there in our models. Well, here the singularity gets a new job description. It's not just where maths breaks down. It's an active terminus. Active terminus, meaning? Meaning it's the place where the space-time manifold our four-dimensional reality, is actually uh, deconstructed, fundamentally removed from our universe. Removed, okay, that's a big conceptual leap. And this removal, this suction that drives 